Interesting. Okay, so I can only pick one scene. Let me uh, just make sure we are Duke here, and then we shall start. The madness. Never get the record on this. Should be good. Yes. Okay, let's get the one. Okay. Looking for royalty-free music? Ads. Discover Golly, Epidesa. we got ads already. Get the safest. Why was I late? Oh, oh, oh. Let me know if you guys can hear me. Always got to do like the tests uh, initially because I know it can be a little off. Hmm. Mike, Mike. Oh, is my mic off? Let me know if you guys can hear me. Always gotta do like the test. Oh wait, there we go. I can hear myself. Okay, it should be uh, heavy left audio gang. That's what happened last time, if I recall. Chris saying, "Why am I ten minutes late, though?" I'm always fashionably late. What can you expect? I'm a diva. I'm an alpha male. I don't play by your rules. Okay. I don't even play by my own rules. That's how it is sometimes. All right, you hear me very clear. What's good? What's up? Well, yeah, okay. what's going on, Rahards? Heavy, uh, heavy left audio game. That's what happened last time with my... Oh. Call. Chris saying, why am I 10 minutes late, though? I'm always fashionably hmm. late. What can you expect? I'm a diva. I hear what you mean. I hear what you mean. I don't play by your rules. I don't even play by my own rules. That's how it is sometimes. All right, you hear me very clear. What's good? What's up? We have what's going on, Rahards. Heavy left audio game. That's what happened last time. Like, oh. Chris saying, "Why am I ten minutes late, though?" Okay. I got my. I hear what you mean. Got my thing in. I'm gonna lower the audio a little. Sorry, I'm gonna do. Um, I'm still. I'm still a noob. This is my second time doing it. I'm learning. What can I say? Hmm. Okay, we'll get it down. I think we are Gucci though. Okay. A lot of tabs. Yeah, cause I'm prepared, Got baby. My... What can I say? Oof. Got my thing. Just, just, just playing around with it. Okay, let's see how it sounds. Sorry, I'm gonna do. Um, I'm still. I'm still a noob. This is my second time doing it. I'm learning. What can I say? Hmm. Okay, we'll get it done. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, cool. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being on the stream today. Woo! Let me get my hype song out. All right. Before we start this stream, we gotta go hard, like it's 2005. Hey. Hey, 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 who's ready for the e-commerce state of the union for your pants to be blown off with the e-commerce knowledge? Everybody put your hands up, up, up. Hey, hey, hey. We in this, we in this, we get in hype. It's a Sunday. I should be watching football, but you know what? We're doing e-com and everybody got to keep those hands Oh, 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 golly. God, there's no better song than that. 2005 Energy, we are back in this. Ladies and gentlemen, today I am going to be doing a very important video. Explaining how Q4 works and how the best dropshippers in the world are approaching it. How do we test products? How do we build our websites? Also, looking at a few websites, looking at some ads, giving you my full analysis as to what is good, what is bad on the three major pillars of e-commerce known as ads, websites, and products. So if that sounds remotely interesting to you whatsoever, I would leave a like and subscribe to this video before it even starts because you already know 
Your boy's going to give you the sauce. Actually, oh crap, I, I didn't press the record. That's my bad. I got to do the intro again. Let me do the intro again real quick. My bad. Ah! How do I improve my CPM? Find out later in this video. I got to do the record button though, guys. I got to get my record. I'm a fool. I think I might have to do that uh, 2005 thing one more time. Actually, no, it'll get copyrighted immediately. But then again, I kind of want to do it anyways. So let's do it. I'm going to do it again, guys. Everyone pretend like I didn't already do that and blow your mind with how cool I am. You better don't tell a soul. I ate some like meatballs before this. It looks a little orange over here. And I just brushed my teeth. That's why it took me so long, actually. What can I say? I like my teeth. I like to keep them pearly white. Ding. All right. Let me get uh record on. And we shall do this. All right. One more time. Everybody, act normal. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the e-commerce state of the union. I'm going to tell you what the Q4 brings for the top dropshippers, how they're preparing, how they're testing products, also reviewing and analyzing some of the best websites in the game in the dropshipping and e-commerce space. So if you're interested in seeing what my take is on the best ads, websites, and products, put your hands up, 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 up. Yeah, yeah. We're going to party like it's 2005 today. If you miss this stream, then you're an absolute noob. You're a square and I hate you with every single fragment of my being. So in today's video, I got a bunch of tabs open. It might look sus. You might think, what on earth is this man planning today? Well, I came with an agenda. I came to blow socks right off and blow pants to the sky. And in order to do that, I'm going to review a ton of different websites, ads, products, as I already mentioned. So if you want to see how a pro dropshipper analyzes great websites, versus bad websites, ads versus bad ads. Might want to cut that a little bit, Eli, when you're editing this. Great, uh, so great ads, great websites versus bad websites. Great ads versus bad ads, and this video is gonna be exactly what the doctor prescribed, and you know your boy's gonna give you the right medication. So if that sounds good to you, I would like and subscribe before this video even starts. But let's get into it with some ads. Alrighty, ladies and gents, let's get into it. We're gonna look at some ads today. <laughs> I'm ready. I want to get some uh, music going on for these streams. I really do, because that's why I got my headphones on. I'm getting hyped. I'm going to listen to my cool music. You guys have to listen to the abyss, to my beautiful, silky, smooth, Jewish, nasally voice. All righty. Okay. Uh, I got some collections. I want to make sure my live stream is still working. Is it working? I think it is. That works for me. Is that the Ethan Dobbins? No. It's a clone. You don't know me. Am I reviewing websites? Yes. If you put yours in the description or in the comments, I might just review it. There might be a chance I review it. Oh, wait. I can look at the comments here. Okay, cool. That makes it a lot easier, actually. Nice. Thank you, bro. This is a bit too loud. Way better. How do I improve my CPM? Don't care. Run some engagement ads on your new ad accounts for three days. Yep, that works for me. All right, let's get into it. So I've been doing some digging around on PP ads and I've come up with a collection of different ads. I'm going to review from drop shipping to authentic branded ads. So let's take a look at a few right now and see what they did well versus what they can improve upon. Seen this ad around because it has 28,000 likes. These headphones, nothing special about them. I mean, honestly, you could probably buy them from five and below. Would I personally sell something like this? It's got to have a twist to it. I mean, they're headphones at the end of the day. Every single headphone does the same thing. So how is yours different than the rest? How is it better? They're going with the affordable angle that most headphones are incredibly expensive. Uh, wow, they cost $500, but we all know the truth. I buy these headphones for $5. You can buy headphones for all different types of prices. So I wouldn't say that's the best angle of the world. Are these guys making money? Maybe. How would I improve this ad though? I would say the main way to improve it, tell me some benefits. Tell me the reason why this is better than all the other options. You got Beats, you got Bose headphones, you got, I don't even know what I'm wearing. Some knockoff Beats headphones are like $70, but man, do they feel good. So again, that's how I would personally improve it. Let's look at the hook though. So when you get your dream headphones for 40, I think that's actually a good hook, but then the rest of it should have definitely talked about why are these your dream headphones? I mean, just what? Unboxing, does that tell me why they're the dream headphones? No. Some person wearing them. I mean, she's cute. I'll give you that. Sex appeal does work, but 
Uh, it's not going to sell me on buying. I think this is just more of a TikTok kind of organic ad. It doesn't really have anything that sells me. And you want to have a good mix of both. You want to have good clips with good benefits. And a lot of people mix, um, good benefits. And a lot of people mess it up with trying to just go solely for entertainment and having these sexy clips that really don't do much. So let's go to our next ad here. Now, I actually think this is a good ad and it does go against a lot of my philosophies on what makes a good ad because I really like going for more direct response, salesy type of copy where it's like, all right, here's my little flying spinner. Here's why you should buy it. It does this, it does that. But here's the thing. Every product needs to be advertised and sold in a different way. And with this product, it's a toy. You're supposed to make it look cool. You're, and the only way you can make something look cool is having sexy clips of it, of having demonstration clips, showing it in use because that's what really builds a desire for people. They're like, Oh my God, it can fly back to me. That's all I've ever wanted. I've never seen this concept before in my entire life, even though this has been going for literally years. We've had little drones. I mean, I remember in the 2000 Cartoon Network type of days, we would always have, there was this one product. I remember in like 2010, it was like an Orby type of thing that you would move on your hands and it would go up and down. It was the biggest scam ever. That's what this kind of reminds me of. But Maybe it does work, maybe it doesn't, I'm not sure. But overall, is this a good ad? Yes, it shows off the product, shows how cool. It shows exactly what it does because it only does one real thing. So if it has a good offer here, and I'd really be curious what they're selling this for. My only worry about selling stuff like this is it is a bit generic. Price is, yeah, $15. I mean, I really wonder what their margins are. I wonder if they're charging for shipping because I think that's the only thing that could really make this work. I think ideally the cheapest you can get this at is $5 from your supplier. So let's see here. I do not want to put in my address. Ugh. Okay, let's. <laughs> we might have to cut that one out. All right, let me go back here though. I want to see. Just da, da, da. let's go here. Okay. Not a real yeah, gully at Yahoo. Let's do some research, gents. Let's get to the bottom of this. All right, scoops. I'm a little nervous. Like sewing shags. It's only $4 shipping. I mean, still though, that is very low margins. And I get that on TikTok. You can get CPAs of five, six dollars, but man, you gotta have a really, really, really solid ad and you have to be testing a lot of new ads. So maybe this ad, I mean, hey, it's got 208,000 likes. It wouldn't have that many likes if it wasn't profitable. So I gotta give them some credit. I actually think this is a very good ad for that specific product. But if I was selling a problem solving product, wouldn't really dig it. Now, this is going to be the same thing. We got slides. Ugh. I know you haven't seen enough of those already. I mean, I could literally have a whole entire warehouse full of these different drop shipping slides. It's just the next big thing. There's the shark slides. There's the cloud slides. Now we got Halloween slides. When does it end? When will the madness finally stop? But let's get into it. They're absolutely adorable. They're perfect for Halloween lovers. They're 60% off today only. I like that they have a call to action. Why do I need these? Tell me, magical TikTok ad. And we get into this, good clips of the product, good demonstration. And that's really all you can do when you're showing off slippers. Yeah, show different angles, show you wearing them full body, show it on your feet. Yeah, show a bunch of different angles. Now, is this a lot of different angles? I mean, what, it's like one, two, three. Not a lot of different angles. I would say that's my one critique of it. I would like to at least get, especially in a 10 second ad, you can get, go bang, 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 bang with a lot of different clips. You can have five, six, seven different clips in one that are all like one to 1.5 seconds. I would say that's the way I would differentiate a little bit. I do like they have a call to action. They have a decent hook. And I think you can notice the trend here. You got to have a good hook, got to have a good call to action. And otherwise people are just not going to watch the rest. Let's get to the next one here. <clears throat> okay. So we got some transitions. Okay. Okay. This one feels a little bit more ad-like than I would originally, than I would ideally want. Uh, and I think it's a variety of different things. One, the text is not native at all to TikTok. There are certain fonts that work extremely well on TikTok. And if you go into any editing software like CapCut, I believe the main ones, um, Helvetica is one of the main ones. There's a few main ones out there though, that if you look at them up, easy to find. You can download them on fontfree.com onto your phone. Super easy to import them into CapCut. And yeah, I would use definitely TikTok default fonts instead of this. It looks a little off to me. It looks very close though. Like transitions are really good. 
And let's see, what's the product here? So it's a comfy, I mean, this is just basically the Udi, I'm not gonna lie. It's very, very similar. So the way that you can sell is perfect for lounging. I feel like there's, again, other benefits out there. If you look at the Udi's ads, they have a lot of great shots, very sexy shots and different angles and different, okay, here's me on the couch with my product. I'm not really feeling it because I'm, I'm not sold. I don't really get why I need it. Let's see what else. Let's go back here to authentic. Actually, I want to see if there's one more good drop shipping ad. Um, okay, let's take a look at this. Okay, let's see this. This is your sign to get these training shorts. I'm gonna mute it. Uh, yeah, definitely gonna mute the ad real quick. Gotta mute it because I gotta make my money. I gotta pay these bills. Child support ain't cheap. But let's get into it. So we got a short ad right here. Good hook. This is your sign to get these training shorts. That's a very TikTok related angle. I like it. I like to do a bid of a mix when I am testing any product. I like to do a mix of more salesy. Okay, we have a TikTok hook. Then we get into our benefits. Then I also like to have hooks that are based on trends inside of TikTok. So this is your sign is a great one. There's definitely a few out there like travel hack or life hacks, travel edition, life hacks, athlete edition. And this could be a good hook to use here or three reasons why you need these training shorts. There's so many different TikTok hooks out there. And I even have I've posted different hooks that I personally use. In fact, I'll actually show you a few of them probably later on if we stick to this live stream, but yeah, they are dry fit. Okay. So let's actually get into these clips afterwards. Built-in compression shorts, no underwear needed. Okay, cool benefits, showing off clips of that. Dry fit so they don't get soaked. Oof, I like it. All these clips correspond with the benefits. It's really solid, perfect for any basketball player. And then obviously show clips of you playing basketball. Everything here I think is solid. Outside of there's no call to action. Absolute noobs. These guys need to get educated. They haven't been to the Ethan Dobbins TikTok mastery course because if they did... They would know they would have made the action. But otherwise, I think this is a really solid ad. Good clips, good benefits. Text aligns with what works on TikTok. I don't know if they have a narrator or anything like that. That would be my only thing if they don't. Always have either the person filming the ad narrating or the TikTok text speech. Both of those definitely work. But definitely want to choose one of those. Have someone speaking to get people's attention. But uh, yeah, let's uh, go back here. Let me see. How are we doing here? How are we doing live stream? How are we doing out here? Take a copywriting pill. I don't know what that means. Uh, but, 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 but let's go back. How's the chat doing today? If she ain't 280, she ain't my lady. I'll be honest. I like thick chicks too. You know, here's the thing. I recently injured my back playing golf. I was uh, doing a swing and I was absolutely just crushing it out there. And my back is absolutely toast right now. It feels like ass. And my girlfriend, she wanted to come over and treat me up, give me a massage. And I was like, literally she would kill me, but I like thick girls. That's the thing. And if she would sit on me, I think I'd break every single bone in my body. But I know that's the thing that would happen. Is you, because it starts with the massage, and then you know what happens, boys. You know what happens. We, we, we know what happens. Am I right? <laughs> but yeah, no, I like big girls too. Not big girls. I mean, she probably weighs the same as me, honestly. But like thick. Got to get the thick. Thick with three Cs. That's what we need, guys. We're entrepreneurs. We solve big problems. You need to have a woman to go back to, or a man, whatever you prefer, that you can go back home to and you know they'll take care of your needs. You solve big problems. You need someone that can help you de-stress. That's the key to success right there. All right, let's get back into it. Now, I've talked about this many times, and I really, truly believe that the number one way your ad will either... Six, I want to... Actually, let me do it again because this is for the YouTube video. Okay. Now, I truly believe the thing that will make or break your TikTok ad is authentic acting. If your acting doesn't feel natural, like your influencer that is filming the content really has wanted this product for months, it's not going to work and it's going to come off as inauthentic and people add like tendencies. So I want to look at some ads that I really do believe have the right acting voiceover work and just feels natural to me. All right, let's get into it. favorite earrings from TikTok are 20% off this weekend only. It's her duty? Duty? To pleasure this booty, am I right, gents? Okay, let's get back into it. Enough it's horsing around. Going. They showed up on my For You page, and they're amazing. They're hype. I mean, this feels very natural. And when it comes to acting, you don't want to overdo it, because I think that's also... There's two ways you can do the acting. It's either supernatural 
or you overdo it or you underdo it. And a lot of times people really overdo it. Like, <laughs> I feel like it's my duty to tell you about the best TikTok earrings. When really, this is natural. This feels real. They look and they feel so expensive and I get so, so many compliments on them. Okay, very generic. Anytime someone says I get so many compliments, it literally just shuts down my brain. So very vanilla copy, but on her part, she did a good job of reading the lines. I think it's very authentic. So let's go to our next one. Did Amika discover the cheat code for my once a week washing girlies like me? Because they did. They just dropped their Perka Plus dry shampoo and it will literally change the game for anybody who does not wash their hair frequently. We all know. Who doesn't wash their hair frequently? What are you, a cave woman? But I really do like this. It feels like she's talking to a friend. It doesn't feel like there's a camera even in front of her. It's very natural. And I think that's the best way to sell any product. Imagine you are with a group of your friends. They ask you about something that you're wearing or that you're holding. You're like, oh, this whole thing? Oh, this is just my Casely battery powered phone case. But actually, if I was being real, Oh yeah, this is my Casely battery power phone case. I absolutely love it. I think it's amazing. It can charge your phone in seconds. They got a lot of cool cases too. So I really do believe, I mean, if you need a new phone case, man, this is the way to go. Sell so many products, but it's gotta be authentic. It's gotta be natural. And it takes a lot of practice. I've been on camera for close to two years now. And I know a lot of influencers that are getting into this space, especially when you work with the less experienced ones, they don't have a lot of portfolio or a lot of work that they've done in the past so you got to train them a bit and it takes practice but let's get into the next one huh? there are only two things a girl needs coffee and gains coffee and gains i agree with that again not overdoing it seems very natural now this guy i've seen him a few times he has been on i believe some fabletics ads and he's also on this plug tech ad so let's see his acting i think it's really solid With my budget. So yeah, just the overall good hook, good enthusiasm, good acting. So yeah, if you can blend in all these different things when you are filming your own ads or when you're working with influencers, I really do believe that it's the most important thing. Your copy can be perfect, your clips can be perfect, but if it's either super monotone or you overdo it, and oh my God, guys, I just saved a hundred dollars on these new headphones. People just, they're not going to feel you. They don't want to feel like they're being sold to in a way. They want to feel like it's natural. Like, hey, you're just reviewing a product. I really love this. It's amazing. All that stuff. So yeah, I would say that's key to ads. I think another good part of it that I can mention real quick um, when we look at some ads. I really want to see. Now, I think one of the more underrated aspects of making a great TikTok ad is the editing because there's a specific style that works in terms of how you format your text, how you do transitions, how you do your cuts. So I would say typically on TikTok, when it comes to editing, fast paced ads always outperform the slower ones. Usually clips should be between two to four seconds. Or if you're saying a line, let's say you have a script and there's five lines in your script, each line most likely will take three to four seconds to read, but you can flash three clips during those four seconds. It can be bang, bang, bang. You can be talking about a benefit about how your shorts never stretch or they're waterproof. And then you have three different clips of them being waterproof. You dunk it into a pool and it's fine. Or you throw water at them and they're fine. So you can grasp people's attention by having a lot of different clips. And that's typically the best way to go. But let's take a look at some of these. Do, 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 do. I don't know about that one. Let's get into this one though. I'm not gonna wait, let's just play one more time. Not gonna lie, that looks like the start of a XXX rated film. I ain't gonna lie. Hopefully Get Ridge does not disappoint us. Oh, there we go. That's what I wanna see. Some good old exercise. Now, I would say the acting um <laughs> not not acting, but editing. So when we go into editing, it's pretty solid, good clips. We got now the text I would say is the biggest thing you can take away. Jeez Louise. Hey, 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 let's relax with the bending, okay? Jeez, I'm, I'm sorry about that, guys. I know, I'm not trying to distract you. I'm trying to teach you. But I would say the text, it fits perfectly. She clearly edited this either in CapCut or TikTok. It's got the right canvas, right layout. So that's really solid. Now, there's a few instances. I think this one's really, really good. Good zoom-ins. Look at these sexy product shots of these stickers right quick. Now, obviously, selling stickers, that's a very hard sell. But you got very sexy shots, good transitions. Look at that. Really good editing and clips are super fast paced. They almost speed up everything. And sometimes speeding things up or slowing things down or playing them in reverse can be a great way of getting people's attention. I know in some of my hooks, I will have a product in my hand and I'll just like throw it up and catch it. 
and you play it in reverse and it's a great great hook but let's look at some other ones I mean that editing right there in those two seconds is great amazing super duper solid and yeah you can do this all from your phone it's not that hard just a nice little phone kind of a panoramic shot style i mean it's a really really good editing though and it's on beat with the music so it's little little subtle things that you can do to elevate your ads i want to see one more uh, i think beauty ads are always great because the clips in the speed are perfect for tiktok it's just fast it's cut 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 and if you can do that with your ads especially when you're saying lines it will get people's attention and then they will be interested in watching the rest. Cut. Cut, cut, cut. Showing off the product for a bit. Showing off the end result. And that's all you want to do with beauty. Show how it looks. Show how it looks cool. Have or it's cool. Stuff like that. Just have good product shots. But I think that's enough for reviewing ads. Let me see how my live is doing. How are we doing over here? How are we doing? We still live here? Anyone's complete came campaigns have been sucking lately. Hmm. Campaigns typically only suck if your ads suck, buddy. I'll tell you that. Yum, 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 yum. Alrighty. Take a copywriting pill. If she ain't 280, she ain't my lead. Chubby chaser gang. Hey, blah, 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 blah. Hey, Ethan, on average, how high can a product scale to on TikTok? I mean, it depends how good you are. If you constantly make new ads and you're trying new strategies, you can scale any product to six, seven figures. It shouldn't be that difficult. Let's see here. Okay. What's your CPA, Sean? Who's Sean? I don't know. All right, let's get back into it. Stream health is poor. Ah, rats. Hopefully you guys can still see me and everything's Gucci. I think we're Gucci. Alrighty, let's get back into it. How long have we been going so far? 30 minutes? 21 minutes? It's not bad. All right. Let's look at some websites today. Let me open up our websites. Alrighty, Eli, when you, you are my editor. So when editing, I would say probably show like three or four of my, my takes. I think we'll, we'll probably look at like three or four. Nothing too crazy. Get rid of this one. Keep this one. Keep this one. Okay, which websites are interesting? Which websites are interesting? One, two, three... Uh, four. Uh, let's see this one. Okay, we'll get rid of that. Keep that. Keep that. Okay. We got one, two, three, four. Uh, we'll get rid of this one. Anything interesting here? Okay, that's. Get rid of this. Okay, let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, we are on the website portion of today's video. Let's do it. Okay. All right, so let's now take a look at some websites and what I like versus what I feel like can be improved. Now, first website is Kenko Back. If you're not aware of Kenko Back, Back is one of the biggest dropshipping brands. They've done over seven figures with the back cracking device here. I think it's more of a back stretcher. Now, this product has worked incredibly well for them, and I want to look at the description and just cover how is this formatted, why is it formatted in this way, and how does it work. So, first off, I like that they have some pretty good images showing off the product, how it's used. It's a little blurry, but I'm assuming normally it loads perfectly fine. Now, I love that they have a review at the top of the product page. I love this. Social proof can definitely be shown everywhere. Um, got an air bubble. Give me a sec. Uh, everywhere. Um, yeah. Because really, your job as a marketer, and a lot of times when people are clicking on your website for the first time, they are looking for credibility. They are looking for trustworthiness. And a lot of times, just having the review widget at the bottom, most people don't actually get this low on the product page. So it's always good to have your best review out there at the top just to get people initiated into your brand, why your product is amazing. Now, I would say personally with this review, 
It seems a little bit long. Maybe they have split tested this. I personally like to do one to two sentences when I do have a review at the top, but I love having that. I think it's a great thing to split test on your descriptions, having social proof in the middle, at the top, and also at the bottom. Um, the more you can put your social proof, typically the better. So this is a great start here, back and neck bundle price. It's interesting how they do this. There's a lot of psychology behind increasing font size with price. I personally actually like to decrease font size when I'm selling a product that's more than $20. Uh, yeah, I, I do like to do that because it makes it psychologically seem like it's less amount of money. But here when it's huge, I don't know, it feels, it feels like there's a little more gravitas to it, a little more oomph. I don't know, my bank account looks like it's struggling after seeing that. So personally, I would make the font size a little smaller. Uh, going down here, we have a clickable thing to reviews, which I love. And then we got some nice little bullet point benefits. I think this is great. You should always have bullet point benefits, two or three at the top. Uh, get our best selling back and neck bundle. Personally, would I have this? No, I would get rid of that. I would get rid of that. I like the trust badges, add to cart. It looks nice and schmexy. Uh, guaranteed safe check. Uh, sorry, guaranteed safe checkout. I have played around with having these guarantees and these shipping details. And this is something I've always had and I still do have. But I think it's better to show these off as trust badges instead near the bottom. I don't think people really read this and care too much. I used to always have it there. Personally, though, I just don't. I don't think anyone actually reads it anyways. Now, when it comes to this, we're getting noticed. Okay, so we got different health magazines. I do like that. I think for some products, it works. If you're doing beauty products, there's a lot of different magazines out there. If you're doing something, though, that's like spooky slides, yeah, I don't think you can do that kind of trust badge angle. It just doesn't really work. But hey, if your product is applicable to these different magazines, go for it. I think that's a very good way of doing social proof. Now, what's included? Pretty weak headline. I don't think you even need that headline. Our best-selling orthopedic back stretcher. Again, a headline that is kind of weak, in my opinion. It doesn't actually list a benefit. That's just stating a statement. I mean, it's just a feature, really. Oh, it's best-selling. Who cares? Now let's see, instantly eliminate awful chronic back pain or your money back. That would be a better headline. I would use that. I would split test that and see what performs better. Our orthopedic back stretcher uses the power of gravity, stretch, decompress, and realign the spine. Okay, so uses the power of gravity. That is a feature. What is the benefit that comes from this? Oh, you can stretch, decompress, and realign your spine. Okay, cool. Now I know why. Now this is a great way of doing your copywriting feature, then benefit. Now I would say I've split tested a lot with TikTok ads. When you're doing your description, I actually would not recommend having a paragraph like this. I don't think people actually read all of this. Per personally, I think bullet point benefits like this one right here definitely get read a lot more than just having a whole brick of text. So personally, how I would do this is I would most likely have a headline. So we could use this first line up here, get rid of the what's included, get rid of this our best selling, probably have one or two sentences under this photo, then have the second headline another two sentences, and then you're good. I've actually had to really adjust the way I do things with, yeah, just having almost one paragraph as the entire description, like four sentences instead of 12. And I have noticed a dramatic increase in my conversion rate by shortening my description and focusing really on the way that I present the information. Because when you just have static text like this, people just don't read it. They really don't. So if you have though something like a graphic that demonstrates this, okay. So if you're doing, okay, eliminate neck pain in just 10 minutes a day, you can have a graphic that has bullet points or shows the product. And then a little thing that says eliminate neck pain in 10 minutes or less. You can have that. And I think people definitely pay attention and are more receptive to graphics and information and text on graphics than just static text. So I would definitely recommend doing that. Have more graphics instead of text is really just the main thing that I've been concluding from my split test and doing things. But again, it's not too many words. I don't think they overdid it too much. Now reviews, these are really good reviews. Photo reviews always sell. People want to see what the product looks like, how it works. A lot of great photos here. In fact, all these top ones are all photos, which is super solid and they're very detailed. Let's go into these. Let's see here. I've been having pain for years. This is really helping. So again, the main thing you want to convince with your reviews is typically fast shipping, that the product actually does what you say it does, and that the product quality is solid. So I think these reviews definitely do that. If you can see, yes, it helps with my neck pain. So if you do the proper research and you understand the main reasons why people are buying, which it seems like it is neck pain, because you can see computer neck, neck pain, all this stuff. Very, very important that this reviews are going to cover those major benefits. And if your reviews are your, and if you're importing reviews and it doesn't directly handle the major benefits and objections your customers have, they're pointless. They won't do anything. So there's no point in having reviews unless they handle the objections and prove that your product does solve the problem that it's aimed to solve. So yeah, I think it's a really good website actually. 
And they got a nice little sticky add to cart. Now, let's go into a more dropshipping type of website. The Spooky Slides. Ugh. Oh, boy. This is kind of crazy looking. All right, Spooky Slides. Going down here, images, very basic. I would have more images out there. White background is solid. It's a good start. And yes, when you are clicking on the variants, that should be the default, a white background image. But you can definitely go the extra mile and find different images from different suppliers. If you do a reverse Google image search, you go into Alibaba, you go into AliExpress, you go to CJ Dropshipping. There are tons of different suppliers out there that have different photos that you can use. So definitely put the extra mile in and researching and having good photos because photos sell, especially when you're doing a non-problem solving product. They want to see different angles, different ways of how the product works. They want to see people wearing it to see how it looks because a white background image is not going to do that. Now scrolling down. Offer $19.99. I think that's a very reasonable price for slides. Order a second pair and receive 10% off. Eh, nice woman's men. Okay, cool. That works for me. Warm up your feet in style. Nice, concise benefit. I like it. Now, all of this, I can guarantee no one's going to read. So I would just have the GIF here. We got perfect Halloween slippers. Okay, that's fine. Are people going to read this? No, they're not. They're going to skip right by it. This is how people are going to read this description. Warm up your feet in style. Perfect Halloween slippers. Why spooky slides? All right, lightweight, soft, and comfortable. That's all they're going to read. So you have to have a good way of, again, demonstrating the values, demonstrating the major benefits. And I really do believe graphics, graphics, graphics are the move. And let me see if I can find a few examples of good graphics. So we go to Hey Silky Skin. This is a great graphic. Hey Silky Skin versus others. Okay, it's pain-free, money-back guarantee. You can put in all the major benefits, and people will look at this. They love looking at images. They love looking at graphics. And that's a very simple one that you can almost use for any type of product. Now going back here, no call to action at the bottom, really. I mean, we got, actually, there is a call to action here, which I do like at the bottom. If you don't like it, you get your money back. So that's a nice little offer they're doing here. Reviews, again, tons of photos. You notice the trends. Photos always will sell. So we got some good photos here. I would say the reviews, not too detailed, but again, for slippers, they don't really need to be. I mean, there's not much you can say there. So I would say overall, it's a decent website. The add to cart, I don't like that it's a white background on white because it doesn't stand out and your add to cart button should always be standing out. But this is a very basic, simple website with a good offer. It's not too crazy. I mean, it probably took an hour to set up, but I do believe this sale, uh, this store is definitely making sales. So let's go back. Now, I'm very curious about this one. I've seen this lighter. It's really cool. It's a nice little car design where it opens and then it instantly triggers the lighter. So you got the ace. Now, I want to scroll down here. They got a really, really enticing offer. So this is where I would say when you are selling any product, if you cannot come up with a super enticing offer where it's almost a no-brainer to buy, because I personally like to have margins of at least $20 to $25. And the only way you can do that is you have to sell products with a high perceived value. And if you're wondering, what is a perceived value? How do I figure out what's the perceived value of a product? Just look up the general version of it on Google Images, or sorry, Google Shopping Ads, and you will see all the different listings out there. And then you can figure out what the average price is. And then you'll have a good idea as to what people are willing to pay for that product. So if it's a water bottle like this, maybe it decleanses or detoxifies your water. A detoxifying water bottle, look that up. Average prices are $35, $40. Okay, cool. That's how much I'll sell mine at. I'll sell it at the market average. But then that means I got to find a supplier that can source this for $10 or less. So, yeah. So, so I'd say for this product, a lighter, $5 is pretty reasonable. Obviously, you can find lighters at gas stations for a couple bucks, but this is a really, really cool customized one. So let's go into the description. I love the layout here of all black. I think it actually does work. But in most cases... White background is going to be the way to go. I think it is a risk. It, a lot of times will hurt you more than help you when going with black. But I think over and all, the color scheme is not bad here. Okay, so let's go here. We got shipping, 30-day money-back guarantee. Again, I would just keep it to trust badges. You can easily do a trust badge collage in a way where it's just a, a square and then you have your four benefits. All right, money-back guarantee, fast shipping, low stock, all these different things. You can have that. I think it just looks a lot better than having the accordion. The most unique lighter. Ugh. Oh man, this guy needs to go to copywriting school. I'll tell you that. He has not been through one writing class. This is D level of English AP writing. I'll tell you that much. But you bring this around any of your friends or to any parties and the lighter is guaranteed to start some conversations. It's a really weird way to say something. I'm not going to lie. The, the copywriting feels a little off to me. It doesn't feel super conversational. And when I'm writing copy, again, you just want to do the proper research. Look at... 
different reviews for the same product or for similar products see what people are saying is the reason why they bought it and if you do the proper market research you go into videos of your product you look at the comment sections you go into youtube of your videos sorry youtube youtube videos of your product and look at the comments you'll definitely get a good grasp as to what are the main reasons why people bought it if they probably most likely bought it because yeah it's super cool yeah you can impress your friends or yeah it is a conversational starter but i would say that almost no one is going to say this is how they would word it and you want to speak in people's tone you want to speak in their language you want to use those same words that they would use now it's easy to like candles with and whatnot what, what is this some 1700s shakespeare-esque type of with or whatnot to be or not to be that is the question but honestly the cool part is simply fidgeting with it god this copy sucks okay so we're just gonna ignore the copy here let's look at the images images are actually not bad okay so i'll give them this images color scheme are really good they got no reviews which is a no-no you always need to have reviews but let's go here i want to see what their actual offer is because they're selling for five dollars there's no way they're selling for five dollars so i'm assuming what their game plan is is they're going to get people to go to checkout they're going to put in their information and because they've already done that they're going to do like a ten dollar shipping but people are going to be willing to pay because they've already put in all their information and it's like you know what fuck it i need to buy it i'm already here so let's see, let's see, do, 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 do. Do, 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 Let's see. That's a valid, oh, oops. <laughs> the moment of truth, and there she goes. $8 shipping, $10 shipping. Yeah, it makes sense. I would say, I always like to have free shipping, but if that's going to be the way that you do your offer by backloading the actual price of it at the shipping, it's definitely worth a split test, especially when you're selling products that have a lower perceived margin like a lighter. Now let's see what else we got here. Now this XL battery pack, I'm really interested in this website because I think they have great branding, like super cool logo. It stands out. They got all these cool backgrounds and this is fully branded. Look at them. So they took this product. It is super generic product. It's just a battery pack that you plug onto your phone. It charges super easy, but I got to give them credit. Branding's great. They got this nice little, I don't know what they call when you blend two colors. I think it's, uh, so it's a, it's a bit of a hybrid with the white and blue, which I really like. And I believe this is the sense theme. It's one of those new free themes you can get on Shopify super easy. Now we got product info. I don't think anyone's going to really read that. How to use. Okay, that's interesting. I would honestly put the how to use probably right here. I mean, you can just have a GIF or and have a section that's like how to use in three simple steps. And then it's a GIF. And that's probably a little bit better in my opinion. Shipping return policy. Again, I would just have that as graphic. Now. This is a really unique way of formatting the description. Dead phone, worst times. They keep it super simple. Look at this copy. I think people will actually read this because they keep it super short, simple to the point. And that's all you really need to do when you're selling products like this that people already understand. Like, look at this. Charge wirelessly anytime, anywhere. Okay, cool. That's a good benefit. Stay charged all day with a single battery pack without worrying where the nearest outlet is. It's a great benefit. It really is. That is the best way of wording it. I think it's very conversational. Built-in smart battery protection. Now, what does that actually mean? It doesn't slip off and is strong enough to charge through your case. Now, I would say this uh, is great for protecting your phone from hard drops and stuff like that. I think you can really elevate it that way. Now, our AI smart chip protects your battery from overheating and overcharging. So they probably did the market research and said that, oh, with most battery packs, people are saying it did overheat my phone. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to create a product that doesn't do that, or we're going to make sure to mention this pain point and how our product solves it through this AI smart chip. And I'm sure it's very, very smart. Scrolling down to reviews, no photos, which is a little, little, hmm. Not a big fan that they have no photo reviews because I'm sure they can get some. Okay, so they do have some, but they just shoved it down. I don't know why they would shove it down. Always have the photos at the top. But over here, got some good words here. Bought this trip from, yeah, bought this for my trip to Disney. Okay, bought this for my trip to Disney. It gave convenient charging. Yeah, these are really good reviews. They're detailed. They talk about specific examples, which is good. And I just like how simple they make this. It's a good logo good headlines they keep it super short simple and they focus mainly on the graphics and the gifs and the images and i think when you are selling products like this that is definitely the way to go now let's see how are we doing on the live stream here we got 24 people rare how are we doing here mr mikey again congrats on 10k subs ethan well thank you very much mr mikey i really do appreciate it 
Boss, how can I make more money in Q4? What are the things that you are preparing? Oh, we're preparing a lot of things, honestly. So I got a question from Marco. So I got a question from Marco here about how I'm preparing for Q4 personally. What I'm doing in my agency, because we have about 70 plus clients and it is a ton, is we're focusing more on making sure each product test has value, that we're trying to make every product a winner compared to killing things incredibly early. Because I think there's this stigma in the dropshipping space that if something does not get immediate results, kill it. It's not going to work. It's not a winning product. But I really have changed my tune when it comes to the whole winning product. I think almost any product can be a winner through good marketing and through a good offer. But if you have a bad offer and bad marketing, you might think the product is at fault when it really isn't. It's just your marketing. Because at the end of the day, we're all almost selling the same products. I'm sure you have sold the same products that I've made money with, and I'm sure I have lost money on products that you may have made money on in the past. And it only came down to good marketing, good ads, good offer, and selling on the right platforms. And I think my best example of this is with Jordan Welch. Jordan Welch was selling the sleep band and he scaled it to over $1 million. And I sold that same product a year before in the past. It made no money at all. And it was just because my ad wasn't that good. And I can admit that. I looked back at it and I was like, why the hell didn't this work for me? And it was because my ad sucked. My website wasn't as good as him. The copywriting wasn't as good, but he just executed at a higher level. And when you're doing dropshipping, especially in Q4, it's all about execution. We all have the same things. We all are selling on the same platforms, on the same websites, but the only difference is your execution. Can you write copy that's better than everybody else? Can you organize and make sure people actually read that copy? Do you have good social proof, good reviews? Do you have great ads with actual talking points that people care about, that you understand your customer, that you know who your target profile is, you know their objections, you know their pain points, and you know exactly how you're gonna solve them and what words will convince them that you have the best solution for solving their problem. And if you can do that, you can make any product a winner. Every single product can be a winner. It just comes testing different audiences, a lot of times testing different platforms and testing different offers because some products will work extremely well on TikTok and then some products work extremely well on Facebook. Like that Kenko back example, that product probably works a lot better on Facebook because you can target to people that have a specific health issue with their back. On TikTok, you can't do that. So I would only recommend selling health products really on Facebook as of right now, then have a great offer, have a good landing page and the landing pages for health products are gonna be a lot different than the landing pages for that battery pack because with health products, you usually do need to have more explanation. You need to have a lot more social proof. You need to have a lot more graphics. You gotta put a lot more effort into it, but that effort will pay off. So you gotta know that during Q4, try to make your product a winner compared to just giving up on it ASAP because you can make any product a winner. It just comes to, instead of testing two ads for that product, test five ads, test 10 ads, test 15 ads. Instead of testing the one offer where you just set the price and all right, that's the price that I'm gonna do forever. No, try different prices, try different structures with your offers, do a BOGO, do buy one, get two free, buy one, get one 50% off. Try different offers and see what sticks because you never know what will stick until you try different offers. So I would say that's my major key. We're really focusing on, let's make these products a winner. Let's focus incredibly hard on the websites, on the ads. We're putting so much extra effort into our UGC team. I filmed all new courses for my UGC team on how to edit, how to film, how to become a marketer, how to get good clip examples, get inspiration, all that good stuff. And then with our websites, we're putting a lot more emphasis into trying out different themes and seeing which ones perform better for certain types of products. We're trying different ways of organizing our descriptions through just doing more graphics instead of just again, laying out all this text. And I really do believe that's gonna make a huge difference in our results compared to everyone else. You have to be able to adapt. And I believe the future is gonna be putting a lot more effort into your product because when you do put a lot of effort, you can make any product a winner. It just sometimes will take a few compared to, all right, let me give it a day or two. If it doesn't work in the first two days, ugh, this product stinks. It's a loser. But yeah, I would say that's how we're preparing. Now let's see what else we got. 20 orders per hour. That's what my tool says now. I don't know which website you're talking about, but sure. Bro, can you review my page real quick? Dr. Mr. Bao. Uh, send the link. I'll take a look. I have a tool that inspects stores, analytics from average sales, made spooky slides, or making at least 10K rev a day. Yeah, I mean, it's a super simple website too. Super simple. Nothing crazy about that website at all. 10 grand a day on spooky slides. Ugh. And it's probably just because great offer, it is a unique twist on an already proven concept. It is cool. I'll give them that. And it's obviously, yeah, it's spooky season. So yeah, it's perfect timing. Great timing from them. So good for them. All right, let's go here. Uh, Ethan, do UGC ads also work in Germany? UGC ads work everywhere. And you know, the crazy thing about one country dropshipping, I've been doing coaching for the last 
two, two and a half years. I recently quit probably last year. And my best student ever was a one country dropshipper. They sold only in India. And I had the stigma that, hey, nobody has money in India. Everyone lives in dirt huts. I've seen slum dog millionaire. I've seen, you know, the, the slums, the people that will pretend to be blind to get donations, but it's not true. People in India have money. People everywhere have money. And you know, that was something where I'm like, wow, you know, it's probably something about me and my way that I do assumptions about certain countries, but you can make any product work in almost any country, especially if you know how that country is supposed to be marketed to, you know, their major pain points, you know how to speak to them in their language and not even the language. It's just in their specific slang. I think that's a really good way of communicating and having a nice difference because I know for me, I only sell products in the United States, but that same product can definitely work in Germany. It can work in India. It can work in Australia. So you can be that person that says, okay, this might be a saturated product, but if I come up with a unique angle that I know will absolutely crush in Germany or will crush in Denmark, you can make a ton of money one country dropshipping. And that's what my best student did. He took the Galaxy projector, which was incredibly saturated. It made tens of millions of dollars in sales in America and Australia, but it wasn't really introduced into India that much. So he took that product, made some unique ads, had a very, very basic website, and crushed it in India. That man had a 20 ROAS on Facebook. He was scaling the crap out of it. I've never seen ROAS that high. And he took it to 1.3 million in two to three months. And the guy was brand new to dropshipping. He started in January, found that product in February, scaled it by June to 1.3 million just by one country dropshipping. So yes, I would really recommend if you are from a certain country and you think that's a bad thing, it's not. In fact, a lot of times it can be your competitive edge. Let me scroll here. Do I have a Discord server? I do not have a Discord server. I don't have time for Discord. I don't have time to be talking to you peasants. This is the best you'll get out of... Let's see. Hmm. How do I source my products? Oh, we'll cover that. I'll show you all the sauce very soon. Uh, hey, Ethan, appreciate what you do. In your past live stream, you discussed finding suppliers to source products. How do you find a quality supplier agent? That's a good question. How do you find a quality supplier agent? Well... I would say a lot of times the best supplier agents are going to come as recommendations. I would say whenever you work with agency accounts, something that's really integral to your business, a lot of times it should be recommendations from other dropshippers. And you can get these recommendations by being in the right groups, be in Facebook groups, be in discord groups. There are so many discord groups. It's incredibly saturated. That's why I'll never start my own because, oh God, I just, I can't be in discord all day, but there's a lot of great ones that have great resources and great people that will connect you with the right supplier agent. And sometimes Let's say, for instance, you are scaling a product, source that. So let's say you have three different supplier agent recommendations from different people. Share that product with those three different agents. See what kind of shipping times they can get. See what prices they can get and try them out. Do a test order. See what the product quality is like. Because once you have a good recommendation from a verified person that you know is doing numbers, and then you compare the different prices and shipping rates, that's how you'll find the best person. And that's why we found our person for my agency. I, I had a recommendation from my COO who had worked with this specific supplier agent. They're called Dropship Agent NL, Netherlands. And they now source all our products for us. And they do incredibly fast shipping. We do one to two week shipping across the world get very cheap costs, a lot of times cheaper product costs than AliExpress. So it is such a game changer and it's such an integral part of your business. You do not have a business unless you have a great, reliable supplier. So a lot of times you're going to find the best ones through recommendations. So you got to know the right people, join discords, ask, keep on asking and people will share their agent with you. So yeah, I would say that's my best advice. Do UGC ads always have to be spoken by people? No, they do not. I would say with UGC ads, you should have some sort of narrator, 100%. It can be the person, it can be text-to-speech. I like to do a mix. I tell my specific UGC creators, do a mix. Sometimes I would say 60 to 75% of times I like for them to be saying the lines because I think that does convert better, but you should always have some type of narration because that will get people's attention. It adds a human element to it. And I think that just feels like a TikTok compared to when you have a video that has no narration or nothing. That, that just doesn't feel like TikTok to me. Uh, let's see what else. Anyone here dropshipping with TikTok outside the U.S. on all spy tools? I see nothing outside the U.S. Looks like only U.S. market is working for TikTok ads. That is not true at all. <laughs> I would I would definitely disagree with that. Now, again, if you're dropshipping outside the U.S., you can find products that are working inside the U.S. and then sell them in Germany, sell them in Australia. Take that product and make it your own in your country. That works all the freaking time. 
Jason with the goat. Oh, Jason, no, you're the goat, man. I love you, Jason. Uh, could you out of my site on stream? Yes. Send me, just send me the name of it and don't have .com or whatever. Like just send me the actual name and then I'll put the .com and I'll check it out. If you're, if you're creating UGC, doesn't it take too long for you to order the product from Amazon, send to them, or give feedback and then boom, two weeks has passed. Well, let me show you how I personally do things when I am working with a UGC team. So personally, when I do find a product I want to sell, this is how the process works. It shouldn't take two weeks. It should honestly take a week or less. So personally, when I find a product I like, I will find the Amazon link for it. So first off, have Amazon Prime. I have a business Amazon Prime where I send all my products to. And let me actually open this up real quick. So we find the Amazon link, then we pick, so we find the Amazon link and then I pick out from my influencer team, which one I feel like will make the best ads for that specific product. I have all their addresses, so I'll send it out. It usually will take two days for it to arrive. Then as soon as I order the product, I usually give about seven days as the deadline for our influencer team. So if I order a new product, let's say new product is the spooky slides, spooky slides. As soon as I add something onto Monday, all my influencers get notified immediately. So I'll list this as, okay, I ordered the product. Today is the 25th and the deadline is going to be a week from now. So it'll be next Sunday. So the second, so they get a week. So during the two days when that product is getting sent out, we do write out the ad scripts, the content briefs. And when you're doing content briefs, that's typically just writing out what are the major benefits of the product. And then you let your influencer go to work because that is where they should shine. They will shine and show their creativity by, all right, here's the benefits. Here's what you need to say. Now demonstrate the product in a cool way. Do it in multiple different ways. Have different clips, have different hooks, have different angles that you approach it with. So we do that. They get the content briefs usually by the 26th, 27th. We update this document. Then they will submit their ads real quick. So we get the ad link, take a look just like this. And they will also update this document. So instead of ordered product, they'll do, okay, I received the product. My content has now been filmed. And when they do content filmed, they will upload the ad link right here. So we get all the ads uploaded just like this. We take a look at it. And if it's good, what we'll do, scroll back here and we'll do approved and the influencer gets automatically notified and they will request payment. So it should take seven days if you have a good system. If you have your content briefs written out, you got your influencer team trained with the right SOPs and they know how to do clips, they know how to research products, they know how to come up with different angles and you've given them the different styles of ads, which is usually how to, it's usually selfie style testimonial. It's usually going to be uh, a TikTok angle like travel hacks, life hacks, all that different stuff. So many different angles you can take, uh, instructional videos. There, there's a lot demos, product unboxing. There's a lot of stuff. So you give them the different angles, you give them the benefits and just watch them go to work. And again, they might film three ads for you, five ads. They might also take product images. I love getting product images as well. And then, yeah, you just mark it. If they actually did the work done in time delivery, we can say on time or late. I know it says one time because my COO is in France and he doesn't know how to spell. But then, yeah, we mark the cost of goods, everything here, date paid for, super duper easy. So yeah, if you have a good system in place, it should take less than seven days. Okay. Do, do, do. You know, everyone's saying, can I review my store? But then you don't put the link. So I don't know what you want me to do. I don't know. You think I'm Superman or you think I can read your mind and I know exactly what your website is? My eyes aren't that good. I'm not there yet. Now, that's like elite dropshipping God level. I also have a meeting in 45 minutes, so I got to be quick here. Um, <laughs> all right, let's get into some other stuff. Products, products, products. I want to do, 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 do. Okay, so these are old. Yeah, these are old. Okay. So we won't review that. All right, so I'm going to review a list of products from my product researchers. So if you're wondering how I find products, I personally do have a team of product researchers that I fully train. So again, it's so important when you are scaling, have SOPs in place, tell people exactly how you do research, give them the tools, give them the ad spies, give them the PP ads, tell them, oh, okay, I just want you to find products on TikTok and this is how you do it through hashtag research, through TikTok, maybe buy it, Amazon best finds, all those different hashtags, have them go through that, specify what you want. And for me, I want recent videos that are typically 
within the last three months, have a decent amount of engagement, have the right margins, and they need to find me a supplier link so that I can see what the prices are and if I can see it makes sense. So let's go through this list from one of my researchers real quick. They found me 10 products and usually from a list of 10, one to two of them will be good enough for me to actually do further research. So let's take a look. All righty. All right, first product, Precision Trimmer. Let's see. This trimmer is what you need if you want to keep... Oh, I don't want to get copyrighted. Okay, so we got a trimming product, how to fix patchy beard. Uh, let's go here. Looking at this product, is it anything? Okay, they're out of business. That's a good sign. In fact, <laughs> I think that's all I need to know. Personally, looking at the product, it looks generic. There's so many different shavers and trimmers, and razors and all that different stuff. So it's got to be a really cool design or it's got to do something differently than everything else. And I don't think this one really does anything differently. It looks very, so it's a no. All right. Oh my. For my future fan, portable handheld fan with ring-shaped LED lights. Okay, so we got some sort of portable fan here. Let's see. As an that's such a weak <laughs> weak benefit. It's an iPhone base holder. Okay, you can do that with any bro, I can use a book as an iPhone base holder. Oh, what is that as a benefit? Jeez Louise. Such a useless product. All right, let's take a look at it though. Okay, so it is a portable fan. Now, this is definitely a summertime type of product. I personally just don't see it. I think there's so many better alternatives. Yeah, I'm just not feeling it. There's just like so many mini fans. I like the mini fans that also have those little Pez inside of them or the M&Ms. It's a little like fake plastic kind of foam wheel that spins around. Those are always great. But yeah, no. TikTok made me buy it. A door lock. Is that really needed? I mean, there's so many door locks out there. There's handles that do fingerprint technology. Is this the best way to solve the problem of getting privacy? Because that is what you were selling. Get privacy. Is this the best way to solve it? Some $5 gadget? And even if it was, it's a $5 gadget. You're going to get no margins. So no, that is not something I want to sell. Let's see what we got here. So custom DIY type of product. I actually like this product. So what, what do we solve here? Okay, you wanna show your gratitude. You wanna show your love to your significant other and it's very hard to do that. I mean, it really is. This is a really cool product. I actually do like this a lot. My only worry would be the customization part of it. If I was to start a brand, I could definitely see it because there is definitely, what's the right word? a barrier to entry because most dropshippers are not going to go through the effort of yes, creating a custom product where you can upload 18 images because there's a lot of different things. So each product has to be customized and unique. So there's a lot of extra things and steps that go into that. Overall the website looks kind of meh, but I think the product is a winner. A hundred percent. This is a great way to show your love. It's unique. It's new. I like it a lot as a product. Personally, would I sell it though? No, because there's so much different customizations and plugins you're gonna need. So I think it's just a little too difficult. Check out this universal adjustable double-ended wrench. Multifunctional double-ended. Okay, so we got a wrench. And again, this is a product where I don't understand why anyone would sell this on TikTok. This is definitely a Facebook type of product. If you were to make this work, because there's a lot of DIY interests, handyman interests, people that just, yeah, they're alpha males. And I can't hire a plumber. My ego will get bruised, so I can handle it. Don't you worry, missus. I can handle all those leaks. So yeah, that's a Facebook type of product, 100%. Would I sell it? No, I think it's a bit generic. Eh. There's so many different things that are adjustable and can solve these problems. I just don't think it's the best actual solution. I'm not getting copyrighted today, missus. All right, so we got a nice little UGC ad. So product, super tiny product. She kind of cute, I'm not gonna lie. All right, so we got some lipstick. What's going on here? What? How is this different than every other lipstick? I'm not seeing it. What could it be? Hmm. It's more pink. I'm 
our time, but who needs Louis Vuitton when you got this little guy? Who needs Louis Vuitton when you have that little guy? I wish they had that same energy about my Schmeet. Jeez Louise. All right, so it's a purse that can hold lipstick, I guess. I honestly don't even know, but it's kind of interesting. I would like to see what we actually found for the link here. So lipstick purse. Let's see. Forty dollars. Not liking those margins. I'll tell you that. Yeah, that's gonna be a no. There's no way anyone in hell is paying forty dollars. There's no way anyone in hell is paying twenty-five dollars. That is a twenty-dollar product at best. Want to have the best Halloween costume out of your friends? All right, so we got the Purge LED mask. This is a classic. This works every single year during Halloween time. Would I sell it? I would say yes. I would sell it right now. Um, my only worry is that. You got to find a good supplier to get that two week shipping because you don't want to scam anybody. If you are selling it from AliExpress, it's four week shipping and literally you would have to sell it today. In fact, by the time this video comes out, it's going to be too late to sell it. You would have to sell it by the 31st of September. So personally, the only reason why I don't like seasonal products at all is because of the window. You can make a good amount of money, but you have to have a good supplier. You have to make sure you are fulfilling it and you're doing it on time. Otherwise, you're going to get so many refunds and chargebacks that you are not going to be able to work with any payment processor. So sell seasonal products at your own risk. Personally, I'm not going to sell it because it's just a bit too late. Every finger bends just like a real hand would. Another Halloween-esque product. Again, at the time this list was made, this was August 25th, so it was actually last month. So it makes sense that they did find Halloween products two months early. That's the ideal time, but yeah, as of right now, it just doesn't make sense to sell. Okay, so we got a unique dress design. Okay, okay. She's looking kind of bad. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> All right, let's see this product though. It's a nice little green dress, good images. God, it's a good UGC. It's interesting. I'll tell you that. Would I test this? I think I actually would. It's good perceived value. Dresses go from anywhere between twenty to two hundred dollars. Thirty dollars is very reasonable, I would say. Obviously, the one thing is it could be a little bit generic. I do like to test dresses a lot, though. I, I like the women products. If you get a good UGC ad, get a good offer in there. I think it definitely can work. The only thing would just be, is it too generic? Which is hard for me to know because obviously I'm not really the main target audience. Hmm. I would say, yeah. What do we got here on Amazon for this? Hmm. Okay, okay. So not a lot of orders on Amazon. So I'm not liking that because I'd like to get a little bit of social proof if I'm going to sell a woman product because I just don't know what will sell in that category. So personally, actually, now that I look at it, i probably go with a no. Let's review one more list though. Let's see. Let's see what else. My mic isn't working properly, huh? All right, let me listen. I'll go with a no. Let's review one more list, though. Sounds good to me. Let's see what else. I think you guys be tripping. All right, everyone, let me know if my uh, mic sounds good or not, and I will review the next list. If it does not sound good, I will not continue, or I'll do some adjustments. Give you a sec. Does the mic sound good? My mic isn't working properly, huh? All right, let me listen. Sounds all right to me. I don't know. Maybe you guys just have higher standards than me. It's definitely, definitely possible. But let's get back into it. All right, let's see what we got here. Hmm. That looks absolutely terrifying that looks like the thing nightmares are made out of i wonder how big that plushie is i'm a little curious because if you could sit in it like a beanbag that would actually be interesting but it looks a little too small too that just looks terrifying though I, i'm just never gonna sell that in a million years i 
again, I just don't see why a lot of products exist. I think 90% of products in the world just shouldn't exist. A foot car pedal, is it really that necessary? I mean, what problems are we solving? Cleaning the top of your hood. What a niche problem to solve. I mean, personally, no, I'm just not going to sell something like that. That just doesn't seem like it has a big target audience and it doesn't seem like a big pain point. Again, when you're selling a product, make sure it solves a problem that is worth being solved. The self-stirring mug, eh, it can work. I think it's a bit saturated though. Again, saturation is a myth, but with the right supplier, I think it can work. It can work. I just, yeah, I personally will avoid it because, yeah, I actually do. I think it's just a bit saturated. Let's see. You won't believe what I just bought. I just got the front mounted kid seat. Now I can bike ride with my kid. We have so much fun together. So, this would definitely be a Facebook type of product, the bike riding seat. Again, does it really solve a problem? No, I don't think it does. I think it's just a nice to have type of product and it costs $80. Yeah, I just don't see it. Fake bloody bath mat prank on my boyfriend. That was a mouthful. I have bought this bath mat online and basically when you put water on it, it makes it look like mud. I tried to show you how it works before I realized that I'm going to have to dry this whole thing down now before I even put it in the bathroom. It took me ages. Hmm. It was quite satisfying. It's like one of those mats that you get as a kid and you can draw in water. Anyways, I'll throw it to floor. But now I have to wait until I in the morning, so I'll see you tomorrow. What a useless product. <laughs> Digital graphic tablet. Now there's a lot of these different tablets out there and I think the average price for them is a couple hundred dollars. I know my sister's an artist. So this could be interesting. It really is. $61. That seems like a good price. The perceived value also seems to be there. You can plug into your iPhone. I imagine it can plug into your PC too. I wonder... Huh. Let's take a look at the website. I'm actually pretty curious in this product. So yeah, it's great for artists. Tons of artists out there. They want products like this, but it's just usually too expensive. So a nice little cheap alternative, I think could work. I really do believe it can. Is it a TikTok type of product? I think this would be something I would split test testing on te uh, TikTok and Facebook because on Facebook, we can definitely narrow it down with artists. TikTok, you can't really, but I think it could definitely find the right audience there. This is interesting. I would be interested in selling it. Let's see. All right, we got the little poor sucky sucky 3000 machine. Okay, so there's a lot of these out there. I wonder how this one's different. Anything different about this one? I think it's get a spray of water on the skin to deeply cleanse. Okay, so this one sprays water. I know that's different. I've had so many of these because I don't know if you can tell, but your boy's skin is kind of ass. So yeah, I've had a lot of these and they always leave your skin purple, which is why I never use them anymore. But maybe the water part of it that exfoliates your skin makes it usable. I'm not 100% sure, but I like that it solves a problem worth solving. Act oh my God, is this the same exact type of website? Holy gozolis. Have I just found this guy? Yeah, this is... This is literally like the exact same company. Wow, look at that. I gotta give them some credit. These boys know how to pick good products. Oof, Moon Dance Catalog. I need to look at the rest of the store. What else do they got here? And that's another great way of finding products. If you identified a pro dropshipper who is selling products, go look at their collection, see what they got here. I mean, this is just a fucking gold mine right here. Oof. Oh, wow. They're still, selling the, <laughs> they're still selling the TikTok leggings. That's amazing. But yeah, going back on that one, I think I could definitely see that working. I don't know how much the ad has. Seven likes. Okay, that's nothing. That's pretty bad, actually. I do like that it's a skincare product. I don't like the way they actually format their descriptions. I think it's way too much words. There's no reviews. There's a lot of things that I know I could execute better. The prices are way too small. It's not a good website. I think you can execute and sell this product a lot better. And that's really what it comes down to. It's not the product's fault it didn't work. It's just, this is just poor execution. So I'd be interested. Rechargeable magnetic, hmm.
Interesting. A car interior night lights. Pretty sure every single car has a light inside of it, so I really don't see the purpose of that. Yeah, I'm not feeling it. Make your dumplings in seconds. Okay, I've never made dumplings in my life before, so maybe this is an actual problem. I don't know. God, those dumplings seem pretty small if you ask me. Eh, it seems cheap. I don't I don't want to see the perceived value if I'm being real, so I'm gonna go no. Why is this ad so long? Oh my God. Now this product's actually interesting because it stands out to me. I mean, it's again, it's a product that you have to make look cool. Does this look cool to you? This little filter, this shitty Chinese Asian text? No, it doesn't. If you're selling a product like this, you gotta have different shots with different lighting, with different backgrounds, with different models, with different outfits. Not just, oh, here's it in my hand. I mean, it just feels so ad-like. It doesn't feel like a TikTok at all. But again, I think it's a cool product. I don't think it has anything to do with the product being something that's not cool. Definitely appeals to women. I think bling is always something that a lot of women like. And nice little keychain. And it looks fat. Like this looks like something that should cost 30, 40 bucks. And I'm sure we could get it for four or five dollars. I'd be interested in selling this. I think it could definitely work. This seems like something on TikTok that could really blow up. No way. No way. They have icy machines? They have a mini icy machine? No way. I'm going to buy this. If this is real, bro, imagine having your own icy machine at home. No freaking way. I'm building the next million dollar brand with this. I don't care. You're not stealing my product. I might have to bleep. <laughs> might not show this in the video. Oof. I will show this in the video, but that's so cool. Don't know about the legalities behind that because I'm pretty sure icy would sue your ass in seconds. But if this is real, I would buy this. Like that is so cool. What a cool product. No way. I hope they're not drop scamming. That's my only thing. Because 20 euros for this, that seems ridiculously cheap. But jeez. I would sell this 50, 60, 70 dollars. Get it for 10, 20. Make a killing. This is a winning product. It's got the wow factor. Does it solve a problem? Not really, but it's so cool to have. It's cool. And if you can make it look cool and you can show all the different drinks you can make, you could sell the crap out of this thing on TikTok and Facebook. That's a cool product. No freaking way. That's sick. Ugh. Guys, I think uh, you've seen some sauce. You've seen some sauce. Oof. You could sell the crap out of this thing on TikTok. Do I have an ad impression minimum limit when doing product research? I don't really care about ad impressions at all. No. Personally, for me, I only care about impressions and sales. Typically, if it's a product I really know nothing about. Like with women's dresses, yeah, I don't really know what women like when it comes to that. What style is right now in season. So yeah, for products that I'm very unaware of, I do look at the sales. I do look at the traction. But for products where I just know innately that I want it, that's usually all the sign I need. If I have a gut feeling that says, yes, I can see that working. I can see the angles. I can see how I would sell this. That's when I want to sell that product. If I can imagine myself making money, making sales, and coming up with a way of executing better than what's already out there, that is all I really need to sell a product. So yeah, I think uh, that kind of covers everything. Uh, what would the legality be behind that? I, that's a good question. I honestly don't know. Because um, I don't know the IC company very well. <laughs> I really don't. That's a cool product. I'm not going to lie. All right. LiFi has sent his website. Magini. Okay. I'm going to look this up. This better not be a porn website. If it's a porn website, I'm going to block everyone here. I'm never doing another live stream ever again. Oh, it doesn't exist. Ah, oh, what a shame. <laughs> I don't think it's here, buddy. I don't know if it's dot com or whatever. Uh, beauty does well Q4. Everything does well Q4. Try to find the icy machine. Well, my product researchers already find all the products. Um, actually, yeah, he didn't find it. What a shame. I wonder. Yeah, I really do wonder how the hell they sell that. I hope they're not drop scamming. That would be my only worry because I don't know where the fuck you would find something like that. Let me see.
I really do wonder how the fuck did they find that product? Let me go on their um, website real quick. See if I can reverse Google image search any photos. Hmm. I really do wonder. Hmm. Um. I'm not seeing it. Let's see. Hmm. 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 One fifty three, yeah. I might buy this one. <laughs> That's so cool, though. Yeah, great perceived value. I'll give you that. Great perceived value. I mean, it's definitely out there. It's a thing. Ninety dollars here, really? Yeah, that makes me think they're drop scamming a hundred percent. There's no way they're selling this for twenty euros. That's such horseshit. Um, I'm sure there's a supplier out there. I'm sure there is. I would have to do a little more research and I think that's boring, but it definitely exists. I'll tell you that. All right. I'll review, uh, two websites real quick, two websites. And we call it a day. So I got my meetings. <laughs> I got shit to do. All right, let's do it. I'm hoping this is the correct website for LED mass dot store. All right, let's do it. Actually, let me uh, stop a record real quick for my boy Eli. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video of me reviewing websites, ads, and products. If you want more great videos like that, make sure to like and subscribe for more amazing content. All right, cool. I think that'll work. Eli, if you can throw in one of my uh, promos for BOD, that'd be great. All right, let's get into it. Um, e. Okay, we'll stop recording. Keep it live. All right, looking at this. Skeleton Halloween mass. Let's see. A logo, LED mass. I don't like how generic that is. I would have preferred to do something mass. I mean, you can definitely add some alliteration or have just an adjective before the word mass. Just doing LED mass is a bit generic for me. Uh, images seems a little cheesy. I would have gotten rid of that image. That image looks cool. $27. I would say perceived value is there. I think that's pretty reasonable. Looking for the perfect mask. Look no further. That is not needed. I would get rid of that. I like that you do bullet point benefits, so that's good. Four modes of shield, control, steady light, slow, fast, fast, fast. I don't think you need, let's see, comfortable filling pattern matches your facial curve to hold it in place. Interesting. Okay, and now you're mentioning a lot of features here. Like, why does this matter that you have eyes, nose, and mouth areas? It's just a feature and it matters because then you can breathe properly so that you can feel comfortable and not like you're suffocating yourself. That's the major benefit. You don't just mention a feature. Clip the power back to your pocket or clothing. Again, a feature. It's not even a feature either. That's just like a random statement. So a lot of this copy you can get rid of. It's just not adding anything. What you get. I've seen a lot of people do that. I don't see the value here. I would just get rid of it. It's a good graphic. I like this.
Add reviews, bro. Get some reviews in there. You need some photo reviews so people can see what it actually looks like. And uh, besides that, you got to buy it now. I would say have a normal sticky add to cart, just like add to cart. There's a few good apps out there. I know the one with the polar bear is pretty good. I think it's like ultimate add to cart or something like that. This one that just says 11 doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Mind-blowing flash mode. Masks can be used for any occasion, such as party areas. This is just, uh, this copy's not going to sell it. It's not. You could say this mask will make you stand out at any party, club event, discos, and help you get the girl, I don't know, get the girl your cool LED mask so you can stand out. This will have heads turning and help you stand out while you're out partying, discoing, or whatever during Halloween night. That's personally how I would do it. Shipping and refunds, all this stuff with shipping and refunds. I've already told you guys my take on it. I prefer graphics. I don't like having text because I don't think anyone actually reads this. Related products, I would get rid of. Personally, you're doing a one product store by the looks of it. I mean, it is a niche store, but I would just focus more on this actual product page. In terms of photos, I feel like you can add some better photos in here. And then skeleton Halloween, skeleton Halloween mask. Uh, it's a bit too generic of a name for me. I like to do a little more branded. You can just look up the main keywords of your product into a business name generator and come up with something a little better. But yeah, it's uh, it feels a little too dropshipping to me. So I feel like the way we can improve this. Copy needs to be better. Focus more on features. This doesn't matter. This can be worded better. This doesn't matter. Keep it short, simple. Add to cart can look better. Reviews need to have reviews with photos. Offer I think is actually good. I would keep this all black instead of the gray that it is. And then get rid of all cheesy photos. This is cheesy. This is cheesy. That looks fine. Have more actual photos of models wearing the product. This looks cheesy. And then I think you'll make more sales. Uh, going down. I'm reviewing one more. Please review mine. I've been waiting forever. Well, the life isn't fair, buddy. I'll do. I will review your store though. Lovelamps.co. Okay. Last one. We're calling it a day. Because I got stuff to do. Got my meeting in 15. Okay. Uh, your logo is barely visible. It looks like crap, if I'm being honest. Um, make it bigger so someone can actually view it. Product's super generic, um, but I'm not going to knock you on that, even though I would never sell. I have tested this product in the past, but I think it's very generic. Uh, love lamp. Okay. So you at least try to make it somewhat branded. I think the name's not bad. 4.84. Okay. Compare our price 31.19. That makes absolutely no sense. I would do like 40, like 39.99, 45.99. Definitely play around with the offer a bit. Okay. This, these stretch too far. I do like that you do trust badges for the money back guarantee. That's what I like. I would do it more of like Instead of a line, I would do two and then two under it so that it fits properly because this is clearly not fitting. Light up your room how you want it. Okay, that's a good headline. Then I would have probably a GIF under there showing the product in action. 16 plus color options. You need more. You need slightly more copy, I would say. I think you need two to three more sentences that sell it. 60 day hassle-free returns. Then you have returns already down here. I would say that's a little redundant. Again, like I said, I think you can have graphics for these things down here with refunds and returns. Like a 30-day return, return policy, you can have that as a badge. You can do fast shipping as a badge. Or you can do like one to two weeks shipping as a badge. How it works. That should just be a specific section. It shouldn't be in an accordion. Yeah, I feel like it's just empty. There's not a lot here. Reviews-wise, uh, we got some photos. The best photos seem to be lower for some reason. So definitely pin the reviews that have the best photos. Like your first page should not be this as the first thing people see. Like this generic product packaging. That doesn't make it... That's going to actually lower credibility. I would not show the packaging. I would just show the product. I'm sorry, but one is not working. Okay, proofread your reviews too because some of these are not selling your product at all. And that's a three star. I would not include any three stars. Shipping is fast. That is not a real review. Have your reviews actually talk about the product and its benefits. I would say that's more important. Like eight good reviews is going to sell your product better than 45 shit ones. Everything is very good. It looks like a photo. It looks like a photo. This Okay, this is just broken English. All right, so your reviews suck. 
have more detail, have better punctuation, mention the name of the product. So the love lamp is amazing. It transformed my room. Have that as your reviews, not fast shipping. It looks like photo. That's just terrible. Uh, going down here again, the offer can definitely be split test a bit. A quantity, I don't feel like is necessary. I would get rid of that. The ads card is white on white. It doesn't stand out at all. I would make that a different color. Maybe make it black, make it the blue that you already have. Uh, definitely need more text, need more copy. Would have a GIF under this headline, two sentences, then another GIF, two to three sentences, and then that's all you need. Um, add bullet points instead of this. This looks weird just as sentences. Logo looks crap. Like I said, it needs to be bigger. Shop on sale today. This I would just get rid of because it doesn't match your color scheme and I think it makes it look cheesy. Um, you got a lot of empty space here, a lot of empty space here. This is why I don't actually use this theme because it's so much empty space. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's one way I would do it because yeah, these photos look, and also these photos are just really weird, like super zoomed out. They seem kind of like low quality. I feel like you can find, I mean, I know there's, a, I've tested this product. You can find a lot better images in this. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of just like a bunch of zoomed in. Like this looks like it was taken on a camera instead of anything. Well, not a camera, but a phone. And with a product like this, where it's supposed to be cool, you have to have really, really cool photos, not photos taken from a phone. And that's what I, I get the vibes from here. Yeah. All right. I think we're Gucci. Cool, cool. Uh, I appreciate everyone who has showed up for today's video. So yeah, I took those photos. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> Believe me, I can tell. Um, that's why I, I mean, I would get a camera if you can to make them a little more professional, get them professionally edited or like, again, get them touched up a little more or just find some good images already from suppliers that look a bit more professional. Cause I just don't feel like those really sell it very well at all. Um, but yeah, I appreciate all you guys for joining the live stream. I might do another one next week. We'll see how I'm feeling. We are not doing a Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, boss. Not going to happen. I have to be next time, but I appreciate you guys. I got a meeting to go to appreciate all of you joining and we will talk to you soon. Have a good one.